I'm Christian Marr from the Crawford Heritage Community Foundation. I'm here with Ed Cronin, who many of you may have seen the red Erie Lackawanna Railroad caboose that's near the Stamak Highway Bridge. Ed is one of the people who is responsible for bringing that caboose to town. The community, found a, the community foundation made a grant toward that project in 2005, and Ed is now working on a project to create the Northwest Pennsylvania Railroad and Tooling Heritage Center which is a bit of a mouthful. They abbreviated NPRTHC. So Ed, what can you tell us about the Railroad and Tooling Heritage Center? Railroad and Tooling Heritage Center is going to be a museum that celebrates our history. And Meadville has a diverse history when it comes to the industrial development. Um, a lot of young people as well as their teachers probably aren't aware that in the beginning, well, in the uh, middle 1800s, early 1900s, Meadville was a railroad town. Mm -hmm. And it was the railroads that really heavily influenced the industries that came after. Right. So what motivated you to get involved in the project? I'm a transplanted Pittsburgher that grew up going to the Carnegie Museum, the Carnegie Library, uh, Phipps Conservatory, the Buell Planetarium. And, I think Meadville needs something similar, maybe not on the same scale, but we have such an amazing history, the industrial history is, is just... More cultural, educational outlets. Exactly. And there's also a real need to educate some of the younger folks and their people about educational opportunities, particularly in the precision tooling business. Why do you think that's important for our area? Well, um, the precision tool business is what brought Meadville out of a recession whenever Talon and mm -hmm. American Viscose, then it was Avtex, and the Meadville car shop closed. It was the development of Talon who really provided the uh, expertise in precision uh, tooling and allowed a lot of the earlier employees to go out and open their own shops. And now we have al almost 300 shops in the, in the region. And they're crying out for people. They're cr Every tool shop owner I've talked to in the last six months is looking for employees. The sad thing is that at Votech, where there's a program to train young people, they can accommodate 80 students and there are only 37 in the class this year. Mm -hmm. So you're looking to create a museum here in Meadville about railroads, tooling history. What kinds of uh, displays are we going to expect to see? Well, if you went to a railroad museum, obviously you'd accept, expect railroad related products, but or exhibits, but it's going to be one big museum. It's not going to be three small collections or four small collections in separate parts. It's all going to uh, be in one large gallery and they all relate to each other. Because the other piece is the Johnson Shaw Stereoscopic Museum, right. which that company was once located here in Meadville as well. Right, and we also want to talk about the history of Channel Lock and Ainsworth mm -hmm. and Talon and American Viscos and the Meadville Rye Whiskey Company and Trowbridge Chocolate Chip, Comp or Chocolate Chip Company, um, Spirella Corset Factory, the Meadville Trolley System. There's, there's so much history in this town that is fascinating. So there's enough to keep people coming back year after year, day, uh, month after month, hopefully. Um, not really. I mean, we're a small community, and if you've been there once or twice or three times, you will pretty well have your fill of um, industrial history in our region. So the challenge to us is to entice our local people to come back maybe two and three and four times a year. <clears throat> and to do that, we are going to have changing exhibits that change every month. One, one month it might be motorcycles, one month it might be dollhouses. Anything that the community finds of interest, uh, Steelers and Browns memorabilia, um, antique firearms, okay. um, anything that they, they collect cool. and would like to display, share their displays, we want to put in our museum. So where will this museum be located? It'll be between Bessemer Street and the railroad tracks, um, just south of where the Bessemer building is. So near, ne near where PMI currently stands? Yes. Okay, awesome. What kinds of things uh, can the community do to support this mission? If, if dad passes away and he has an interesting collection of railroad or tooling or talon mm -hmm. or American viscose uh, artifacts, Please don't put them on eBay. <coughs> Excuse me. Please don't put them in the dumpster. Yep. Save them for us. Okay. And money, I also assume, would be a, a, a helpful thing. Yes. Um, one of the reasons museums fail is that they are underfunded and they don't plan for operating expenses in the future. So from the very beginning, we've established an endowment fund with the Crawford Heritage Community Foundation. And we're looking to raise money for the building, but we're mm -hmm. also looking to raise money for the endowment fund so that 
even if we have a disaster in the way of a management and board, that the museum will still be, still be sustainable right. long term. Okay, well, Ed, thank you so much for your time today. That's all the time we have, and it's good to hear, and good luck with the, with the project. Thank you, Christian.